G'day, g'day. Today we're gonna get into this uh, camp trailer. I haven't done a video like this for a while, but uh, I've gone ahead and purchased the Lovells suspension upgrade, and Glenn's gonna come over, and we're gonna get this thing up in the air and swap it all out. We've also got the bearing kit, so we'll get the, uh, get the cheap Chinese bearings out of there, and Glenn's gonna teach me how to do that. So it's not gonna give it any sort of uh, raise in height, but it's just uh, a lot better shock absorbers. Apparently, it changes the uh, apparently it changes the ride quite significantly from the stock. So, um, one of the big ticket items to tick off the list before our big adventure this year. And uh, today's the day we're going to get into it. So, Glenn's just on his way. Got a carton of Bundy red cans in the fridge. Might get one now. Ching ching. Fans cranking because it's a bit warm today. And uh, yeah, we'll get into it. One thing though, I will say, it was a little bit painful dealing with levels, to be honest. Uh, I think I first inquired in January about purchasing this and by the time they took the money, it was probably, I think it was the start of March. And uh, it was toward the end of April, I phoned them back up and asked them, uh, and asked them where it was and uh, they'd forgotten to send it. So they did send it express, so it got here in two days. However, they've only sent two shocks as well. So the saga continues, and I only noticed that last night. So um, yeah, I'll have to give them a phone call on, uh, on Monday and uh, chase that up. So uh, I don't know what's going on these days, but it's just a never ending saga with just about everything you buy these days. But anyway, I'll get that all in there. I will we'll get that all in there and I'll um, sort the other two shock absorbers out probably next weekend or during the week. Pretty easy just bolting them in, so shouldn't be too difficult. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this thing goes after she's uh, got some decent suspension underneath it. So I'll go ahead now and get this stuff all out of the box and uh, have a closer look at it. Well, the saga continues. This is everything unpacked. And I thought there was bearings in there, but it was actually in a box with a t-shirt. So no bearings either. And I'm a bit pissed off about that. <laughs> Not only is it a waste of my time, but it's a waste of Glenn's time, and I could have been out in the boat fishing today. It's absolutely pissed me off. Right, hey, Glenn. Well, uh, levels of <laughs> over today, mate. Haven't done us any favors at all, Tim. <laughs> Got this off for no reason. Send us, send us half as many shock absorbers and no bearings. Haven't done us That's any favours at all. Absolute twats. I probably should have checked that way. Michelle was right. Oh, I wouldn't, I would never say that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon, Tim? It's not bad for a half job. <laughs> It'd be nice if we had enough parts to do so the half job. The ride should be half good then, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we will better. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, that's no yeah. good. Yeah, that one's... That was busted. She's cactus, man. So, there you go. You put that wheel back on. Cheap Chinese ones. They've, uh, they've failed us already and I thought they were good, so... There you go. Get this shit back on and we'll just... Do the other side. All we have to do is put the spring in the other side, mate. That's all we can do. We haven't even got a shock absorber to put the other side, mate. So, just the spring's going in the other side. So, as I said, yeah, we're half good. We need another run behind that side. Bloody ass, mate. All right, well it's round two with the camper trailer. So another week on, got the rest of the parts delivered pretty promptly. <clears throat> and uh, lucky enough, Glenn's gonna come over here and uh, we're just gonna finish these wheel bearings off. He's gonna show me how to do it properly. Um, so if there's any point I'm on the side of the road, I can uh, easily just pop them all out and replace them. But anyway, so just get this thing jacked up and get the wheel off. He should be here any minute. So I just finished off yesterday, yesterday afternoon, whacking the other side in. Pretty easy job. And uh, it'll get a pretty good, um, pretty good test in a few weeks time. Until then, I won't really have uh, too much to say about it until I actually use it. But uh, from all accounts and everything I've read, it's uh, quite an upgrade from the standard. And as I said, there was uh, one shock absorber in the standard, one that was completely had it. And there was one that was kind of a bit on the way out, so. 
Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. A bit early for a rumby. So a cup of tea. And uh, as I said, Glenn will be here any moment. And we'll get into doing these wheel bearings. What's the bearing in? And the seal pops out too. There you go. Just like that. And we'll take them over and get some seals. Because I didn't send the right ones again, Glenn. No, mate. Jesus Christ. How hard this is, is a saga, mate. How hard is it? <laughs> this, is the, right this is suspension part two, three, I three got now. Wrong, I got the wrong bearing. It's a trilogy. You got the right bearing. <laughs> <laughs> Punching the first little bearing in. It's not actually the bearing, is it? It's the no, it's the bearing. It's the, just the bearing seat. Well, right, that's the first seat in. Let me flip it over. Did we just put the old one back in? Hey? <laughs> no. Nah. <laughs> Did you? No. Just kidding. Jesus. It's, not, it's not the right time for jokes, Glenn. <laughs> it's not, mate. <laughs> this whole morning's been a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Gotta get that blue shit out of it. Yeah, nice that's... and clean with the greaser. Don't mix grease, mate. Glenn's got this fancy little kit for punching bearings in, too. All different sizes. Yeah, back the front, mate. Eh? You've got dodgy sizes, mate. Got... Dodgy sizes? Dodgy sizes, yeah. Dodgy... These are dodgy sizes. Yeah, this one will do. Do the same thing. Yeah. Make sure you get them the right way around, mate. Don't punch them in that way. No. Be, <laughs> in a bit of trouble then. Yeah, then I'd probably give up at this stage, Glenn. Yeah, then you'll never get it back in. Not good, mate. Get them started. Get a big blob of him, put him in there, and you get this, and you push it in. Slowly rotating around, yeah. See as it comes out? Yeah. You can see it's pulled all the way through. Yeah. Then you just bathe the outside of it. Nice liberal dosing. Plenty, make sure you push it right into the rollers. And you'll find now that your bearing is hard to turn around because it's full of grease. One pack bearing. There we go. Get a liberal dose. No, it's Timken ones there. I thought they were Japanese, mate, but they're American. The American bearings, mate. Mind you, a fair amount of them are made in China, I think, these days. Well, they ones actually specifically say made in America, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I, I would have been happy with Japanese ones, though, because they're Japanese boats, they know what they're doing. Hence the hole ups. And probably the Ranger too, yeah? No, it's... Um, oh, no! It's um, Thailand. Oh, Thailand! Thailand. Grease, Tim. Don't you love it? I right, say, so fill your inside of your hub with grease, like that. Yeah. Then... Wash hands. Sit this one in. All right, so we sit nice and seated. Seal goes in here, mate. Just get him started. Flush, Tim. Flush. A little bit high there. What's happened here? Oh, no. That? Oh, it goes on the outside of that there. No, it goes on the inside of it. It's fell out. You're f***ing kidding me. All right, brand new seal. We've had to uh, punch it out because this little spring that keeps tension on it has uh, fallen out. And Glenn reckons that's the first time it's happened to him in your life, eh? In a thousand. Over a thousand wheel bearings, at least. But anyway, it side, right? luckily we bought spares. People say you can over grease be hubs and bearings. People say you can't, so it's up to yourself, mate. I like to get plenty of grease in there. 
on your axle. Don't rest it on the seal. Hold the weight of it, push it right back. Push that in properly. Make sure she all turns. Castellated nut and washer. This is a critical stage, mate. Yep. So what I do, I was taught this as an apprentice mechanic, is I just do that just to settle your settle your um, bearing in. Punch that through there. Yep. If it's too tight, they'll get too hot, yep. and all your grease will run out of them. Beauty. Put a bearing cap on. I don't think it's going to fit, but it's not going to fit. Go back to the visual. Hold up the other one. There you go. Done. One side's done. Put a wheel back on. Put a wheel back on. Drop it down. Go the other side. Have a run. And get the other side going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a nightmare though, Glenn, to be honest. It hasn't been, it hasn't been much fun, but anyway. No. Wheel bearings are never much fun, mate. No, there should be probably easy in that. Not getting the right parts. Yeah, that that's that's the hardest part was knocking that out of very cup out. Yeah, there wasn't much of a lip on it. But anyway, the next time it will be because these new ones do. Go round and round round. Oh what a saga. So it's all done though. Suspension's in, wheel bearings are in. Uh, cheers to Glenn for coming to help me. Really appreciate it. He showed me how to do them. I've never done wheel bearings before. So uh, relatively easy, just a bit uh, labor intensive belting them out, but um, yeah, should be pretty right. Even on the side of the road, should be pretty right doing them. But um, as I said, a bit of a saga. Um, even today after they didn't send enough parts for the kit, even today, they sent the wrong seals for the bearing, so that was a bit disappointing. So luckily enough though, we discovered that pretty early in the day and were able to bolt down the shops before 11 o'clock when they shut and uh, pick up the right uh, seals. So yeah, kind of never ending with that. It was a <laughs> three-piece three saga. But anyway, it's all in. Got a few more things to do to the camper trailer and um, we should be in good stead. Just going around resealing where I've already sealed before, but um, last couple of trips in the rain have um, shown us that uh, it's not fully sealed. These doors are fine. There's just a couple of spots around this seal where it was coming in. And also up the top here, don't know if the camera will pick it up very well, but I've actually sealed off this hole under the tent area and also in the rails. So when you're driving in the pouring rain, no water gets in underneath there and it was pooling in underneath the, um, the tent. And then on the inside, let's whack some lights on. And then yeah, where I've mounted it, it was dropping down on the um, through the bolts. So I'll go around, I'll seal all that up. I'm gonna seal around the inside of the cage as well, which I didn't do previously. And um, that should stop any water coming in here. Hopefully. One thing I've just noticed now is the um, Water pump's broken off its bracket there. So that's a bit unfortunate. So I'm gonna get on the internet later on and see if I can get another bracket for it and um, probably mount that a different way. Um, that's obviously just gonna happen again. So um, might lay it down flat somewhere. But anyway, never ending. Got some uh, stories to tell in here in a few weeks time. But anyway. All in all, this thing is uh, pretty much where we need it to be for our big adventure this year. More details on that later. But uh, big, uh, big bucket list item off the list with that suspension and wheel bearings. And um, we shouldn't have any dramas with that for the foreseeable future. But anyway, 
Until next time, have a good one.